is 4 times 10 to the minus fifth. Now our equation was e equals e naught minus 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 0 0.05592 over n. n was now let's go back take yep. a look n was um, two electrons that canceled right mm -hmm. so we'll say over two is it log or natural log? Natural log, ln. Times the natural log. Are you sure? That's what it says on our handout. Is our handout wrong? I don't know. Let me look it up in the book. I forget. Okay, so we just looked in our in your handout, and it's wrong. It should say log of q. Yeah. Well, now let's let's clarify the actual Nernst equation. E equals e naught minus r t over n f natural log of q is let's correct. Go back to that. Screen. Yeah, that's it. That's correct. Whoop, that one is this right is there. This is correct. That one's correct. This, this one's wrong. Is wrong. This should yeah, say that should say log. G. Our mistake. Please fix that. All right. Sorry about that, guys. We just figured out our mistake on the handout, and we've already made copies of it. So now we just plug it in, right? Yep. So I would take the log of 4 times 10 to the minus 5. Yep. I would do that first. Do this first, yep. guys. Times it by 0 0.0592. Actually, E naught, it was uh, 1.78, right? It was, what was it, 1.7? Yeah, I think so. I'll double check while you're typing it in. 7.6. 1.76. 6. So this will be 1.76 minus, and we'll figure out this minus entire term, this answer. whole thing. What does it come out the to The whole thing is negative 0.13. Oh. So it's 1.76 oh, minus negative 0.13. Negative 0 0.13, and when you add uh, that up, you get 1.89. Now, actually, I want to talk about that for just a moment. Notice that the, the voltage went up. Yes. You can actually understand this in Le Chatelier principle mm -hmm. perspective. Now, if our concentration of our hydrogen was... I'm going to put it on the on the. Uh, this is 0.5 molar. The VO2. This is two molar. Mm -hmm. The zinc was 0 0.1. 0 0.1. And the VO. The other one was a small one number. One times ten to the negative two. So one times ten to the minus two. These numbers over here are bigger than yes. these numbers. That's going to drive the reaction to the right. So if the reaction is driven to the right based on the concentrations, the voltage will become higher yes. than the regular voltage. If it's the reverse, if you were to have big numbers over on the uh, reactant side, then you would have a smaller voltage. Yep. So that's something to actually think about. This all is kind of connected to things we've learned um, previously. Right. And this is just kind of some steps for doing the yeah. exactly so what we just we did. We just did this. And so, yeah, write a balanced equation. All right, find, find E naught, use the Nernst equation, and plug in the concentration values for Q. All right, now there is something called a concentration cell yeah. that we should chat about. Now, no, earlier, or up to this point, we've been talking about two different half reactions going on in each of the half cells. So what we're going to show you now is when you have the same half reaction going on in each of the half cells, however, they are at different concentrations. So let's say I'm, I'm making a solution. Let's take silver. How about it? So we take silver. a piece right. of silver, and in the other solution, I put a piece of silver. silver. <laughs> and in each of these, I put silver ions. Let's say silver nitrate. What am I missing, Mr. Sam? Uh, you need a wire. You need a wire. We'll put a V here for the voltmeter that hooks them up. You get very good at this. Oh, yeah. So the reaction at the anode would be AG positive. Or actually, I'm not sure how to think about it. It goes to AG plus an electron. So he's going down. This is the cathode reaction, actually. Yes. So this is the reaction cathode. Reaction happens at the cathode. Red cathode. And at the other one, it's going to get AG. It's going to go to AG positive plus an electron. Wait a second. Does this work? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Ag positive plus Ag. Now, now if they were at the same concentration, it would not work because there's no there's no gradient there. So Things in nature like to be the same, and if they're already the same, they're going to stay there. So let's say for the sake of that the right cell is one molar, okay. and the left cell is 0 0.1 molar. Okay. All right. What will our voltmeter read? Uh, let's see here. So That's what we question. need to do is we need to do the Nernst yep, equation. The Nernst. Let's assume we're at 25 degrees Celsius. How many electrons cancel here? And which side did you assign as the cathode and which side did you assign as the anode? I didn't. We have to figure that out, oh, actually. I think we need okay. to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, I think you're right because we've really got to figure out which direction the electrons are going to move. That's right. All right, Mr. Berger made a mistake, so the picture looks a little different, but this Oops. is – yeah, I made a mistake. Okay, um, what's the voltage? If we go back on that table and look – um, the voltage on table for the silver ones? Yeah, so we have to go back to the silver because we've got to find that E naught yep. uh, term, right? Yes, we do. And so, so I think it's like uh, 0.8 or something. Where did my picture go? There we go. Okay, silver, uh, that's I think plus it's like 2. It's like 0.8, isn't it? 0.8? 
Uh, I think you're right. Yep, point eight. So this is point eight. You've been doing this a while. Which one is which? What? Which the, the reduction potential is point eight. All right, then so what would be this one here? That would be negative point eight. Well, when you add those up, they add up to zero, zero. volts. Yep. So this isn't going to work. Well, if they were both at one molar solutions, it wouldn't work. But our left hand solution there is a point one molar. Oh, I see. So yeah. we can use the Nernst equation. We can. So if we say E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0592 over N times the log of Q. Now, what's Q going to be in this case? Well, it's products over reactants, but we need to figure out which one is the product and which one is the reactant. Well, it's just going to be silver over silver, right? Yeah. So let's just write silver over silver. There's no uh, uh, coefficient, so it's just going to be the concentration of silver or the concentration of silver. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be equal to 0 volts minus 0 0.0592 over 1 times the log. Now, now we've got two choices. There was mm -hmm. 1 molar and 0.1 molar. Which yeah. way is it going to be? It's actually better to think about it for a moment. Yeah, Le Chatelier's principle says if you want to have positive voltage, we talked about this earlier, what, yes. what side do you want to have the higher uh, concentration? The product side. A reactant side. That would be the reactant side. So this needs to be one molar, yep. and that makes this the point one molar. Yep. So when we do this on our equation that's products over reactants, this needs to be the log of point one over one. Okay. So and that comes out to be log of point one is negative one. So then we're going to take that times point zero five nine two, and then divide it by one because the end is one. So we have. Um, 0.0592 volts? We do. Yeah, I had to figure yeah. that out in my head. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I'm, I'm be yeah. staring at my Mr. screen here. Mr. Sams was doing a classic, uh, what do you call it, uh, student mistake. He was using his calculator when he could have figured it out. Should have been using my brain. Yeah. yeah, he needs the brain, Mr. Yeah. Sams. You need brain cells up here. Okay. All right, so. I have small children. <laughs> they consume most of my brains. Now, that's not a very high voltage, but it would produce a small voltage. That's yes. called a concentration cell. Now, yep. going back to this, just briefly, let's make sure. Now, if this is the one molar side, the one molar side is being... Um, that's our reduction. Reduction takes place at the cathode. So this is the cathode, and so if we were to label this, this would be the positive side, and this would be the anode, and it would have a negative yep. side. And while we're at it, let's the Electrons go always go from the anode to the cathode. See, so electrons will go, in, as this picture is drawn, from the left to the right, yep. and that would mean that the um, through the, uh, the the salt bridge, the, blah, 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 the cations will flow, right? Because we get yeah, so and through the salt bridge this way, anions will flow. The anions will flow. Okay. Ta-da! I think we've made a concentration cell. So.